Hey guys, and welcome back to the Unfiltered Gamer live play. We're going to be showing you guys how to play the game Theosis, and we are here with Zach and John. They're going to be playing with us. We are playing the Blitz game, which means we're each going to have two characters as opposed to the basic game, which would have three characters, and you can have a longer uh, version of the game. Of course, it plays up to about six players, two to six players, and in which case you could choose Blitz or not, uh, just for the basis of showing you how to play the game that we're going to be doing this. This is the board over here, and it's going to represent all of the worker placement aspects of the game. And as you can see here, this piece here is going to be the next portion of the game. This is actually a worker placement game that is also a tactical miniatures game, which sounds kind of silly or interesting or different, I don't know, whatever kind of like terminology you want to use. But it does have two different aspects. You're building your characters here, and then you're going to be using those characters to have a fight to the death at the end of the game. So over here, we're going to start off. We have each of our characters. I have Girth and Garav. Uh, you have Kurinir and Kor Norn. And then what do we got over there? Soft and... and Rog. Rog. Okay. Each character <laughs> has their own different HP. It's just tracked over here. And then, of course, we have our abilities and then our items. To start the game off, we're going to be using our miniatures here as worker placement. Uh, each one of these represents a place you're going to be placing on the board. Uh, we have our shop here. We have the cards we'll be using for the round. And we have our artifacts, special cards, along with a bunch of little location areas they're gonna give us gold and whatnot uh, I've given us everything we need except for three gold a piece we all get three gold and gold is cumulative among both players so you're gonna you're gonna get three gold just in general to start the game off and then these die here are gonna represent whenever you place here here you're gonna be rolling dice we've got terrain pieces which represent over there the mage area and I'll probably be explaining as we go along anyway and then we've also got these line uh, these line trackers they're gonna issue like this is a straight attack this is gonna be a conal attack and this is going to be a, like a howl or a, a full on frontal assault, I guess. That would be a conal attack. That would be a ring attack. A ring, conal. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> so here to help. Let's go ahead and start it off. Whoever was here first is gonna be the one who starts, which it's my location, so I was definitely here first. So it's also gonna be easy to explain it. I'll take a character, doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna place it in any of the yellow areas over here. So if we go to the board here, um, and we have the different areas, these are all different uh attacks. So you've got like light and dark, uh, you've got like this nature area, ice, whatnot. Um, I've got two characters, so I've got garage and girth. I want to get this character here uh, to place here on this yellow area because then I'm going to be able to select this card which is a useful card and not only that it'll be used for the next round of play but it's also going to move this tracker over this way which means that she's going to be likely to gain more gold at the end of the next round. Uh, it says I gain two gold and I get to steal from the market so go ahead and give me two gold for that action. Thank you, thank you. And I get to take any item I want from the uh, market area so I will go ahead and take something Something nice. How about this one-hander here? I'll place it on my garage. So now you are up. Hooray. Um, I'm going to go right over here. I'm going to take this one. Beautiful. And you also get to do, uh, you get to move the tracker to plus one, putting it close to your, to uh, current here. And you also get to use the ability, which is what? Fain four gold and deal one damage. Yep. Take four gold and choose a character to take one damage. Um, Michael, take a damage. Which one? Garava or Girth? Uh, girth. Okay, well, from not? 9 to 8, I've taken a damage. And you got your card, now it's your turn. John, go ahead and select whatever one you would like. I'll select here, take this card, and steal 3 gold from a player. Okay, choose a player to take 3 gold from. Oh, that that's not very nice. Okay, so now this is done. These cards are burnt. We're not going to be using them anymore for this round. These are not locked, however, though, because you can place your pieces down on these little areas here to move them. You can only have two on each side to move them across. These are worth 10 gold points within the game, an increase in value of 10 for each time you move it. It's basically going to be for initiative as for how and when we're going to be moving our units. But it's now my turn once again, and I get to select any of these. Remember, initiative, though, can change that. If you chose initiative, you would be the person and that would still get it. However, if on the same round you got initiative and then he did, he would actually be the one to gain initiative um, over you because he was the one who last selected it. I am going to go for some more items, I think, and I'm going to select maybe, maybe this, this little shield here, maybe? maybe. Now shields and something are important because it's going to have defenses. Physical defense and half dark defense. This is a full light defense and that's a shield. It tells you at the top right hand corner what each of these things are. Um, or I could pay two gold to gain two mana and heal. I think I'm actually going to do that. So I'm going to pay two gold which is then going to give me two mana so I can choose any of these colors. They don't really matter uh, as for which one you pick. I'm going to put them down on a character and then I'm going to heal Girth back to full. I am now done. It is now your turn Zach. Well, all right. I want to pay one gold, gain one item. 
I'm gonna take this bow. Nice, nice. So that is worth four damage, provided you get through defense. You're up. You stole my move. My bow. Um, 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 I guess I'll go to Mage Tower and see what these are. So I take the top six take of these? Take the top six of those? Yep. And you have to also pay three gold, too. Pay three of Zach's gold. Yep. You're welcome. <laughs> Select one of them. They're going to basically be representative of these things here. So there's six of them here, right? Uh, they could also be some, they, there's a couple of other things they can be as well, but they're gonna be things you can place down like a flame wall or give yourself bonus attack. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain these in the next aspect of the game uh, when we play, when you place them, how you place them. But what you need to know is pick one of those and then choose a round in which you want to come out. If you choose round nine though, the game might be over before then because obviously you can kill all of your opponents in an arena tactical game and win the game before that. At round nine, whoever's in the middle of the board is the winner, though. So it depends if you want to stall or not. It's definitely coming out turn one. Okay, so you had selected the card. Take yep. it. That's yours. Put it next to your characters. And ah. then you got your turn marker, and you can place it aside. And so now we have finished all of our all of our worker placement. We can go ahead and move to the next aspect of play, which is going to be artifacts here. We're going to take uh, one of these artifacts and reveal it. This is a bow. It is worth four damage, and it has a plus one to your card value. So card value, right? If I have a four and you have a three, or, or, or let's say you, I have a four and you have a four, um, this plus one is going to add that bonus, so plus five, which means I'll go through your defense, do a damage to you, and then additionally I can do all of my weapon damage, which would be four more damage. If I had four attack and you had five defense, though, I would not penetrate you and this would not go through. So that is why this, the plus ones are important. They're very, very useful. Um, go ahead and select any amount of money in your hand secretly and pull it out and then you can go ahead and, and bid on that item. Remember, if you do not, if you bid and do not win, you lose the money anyway. And unfortunately for me, I don't have a bow, so it's very likely I'm not gonna bid anything. Or I'm gonna bid so much that you guys aren't gonna be able to get it, right? So just so you guys don't have a really nice bow. All also, right? another thing to note is ties are everyone loses. Ties, everyone loses. Uh, yes, that's correct. If it's a tie, everyone loses and this goes into the bag for somebody to pull from a card. Are we all ready? Yeah. I know they're both they're both gunning for it right now. <laughs> He's like, how, how many how many you had? You can tell them how many you had before too. There's no there's no gaming this here. How many did you have? I I had six at one point. How many did you have before we started this bidding? Three. All right, and reveal. Yep. Oh no! So you both burn your gold, and this goes into the bag so nobody gets it. It's a nice evil move you can do to stop players from getting things you want. Oh, we got a wonderful car in the background, uh, uh, giving us illustrious uh, background music. Um, okay, so now we're going to go on to the next phase, which is, so that was the first round. We're going to do five more of these, and that's going to be the end of this game. Kay. That's all that is, right? You're going to take all these guys here, and you're going to set them aside. And then you're going to pull out six more of these things here. Pull them one, two, three, four. This car is playing us the song of its people. Yeah, right? <laughs> Five and six. So here we go. We have all these guys here, nice and easy. And then we're gonna take all of our little guys back here. So go ahead and take your colors. I went ahead, now to also illustrate two guys. These are not actually the miniatures that are gonna include the game. This is from the others, um, the Kumi or not. However, to show you guys the quality of the miniatures, I've set them aside right here. These are the miniatures of the game. Uh, they are very, very nice though. You can you can definitely see that they're very, very, very similar to the other style miniatures. So we only had a certain amount. We needed six and we didn't have enough to do that. So we just chose a different one. Um, okay, so we've taken these all Improvise, back. Adapt, Im improvise. Overcome. Now the next is going to be to drop these cards all down and they're always in a specific order. So everybody's gonna have the same type of uh, numbers. Ones and threes, see how they're all ones and threes. The next ones might be twos and twos, right? Okay, so uh, these things stay though. So now uh, I'm still the highest initiative because no one tried to take it from me last time. So I'm gonna once again go ahead and place. I'm gonna probably try and get my werewolf guy up a little bit. That is, I will go here. I will gain four gold and initiative, but I already have initiative. So I'm just gonna take this card and down. I will gain four gold. Okay, I'm done. Now your turn, Zach. Somebody's trying to steal somebody's car, I think. <laughs> trying, to, trying to borrow a vehicle of their, cho of their choosing. 
I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get three gold. Let me get some mana. Dang! Which one's that one? That's Ooh. the one you played. Last now, turn. when you place it there, you also and a bounce. You that out. is not very nice whatsoever. I do not appreciate that at you all. You did the same thing to me. I didn't intend to do it to you. I was just being nice. Aww. Okay, uh, you're up, John. Well, I'm, I'm gonna go uh, right here. All right, you got it. And steal three gold. These cards burn. This one goes this way, right? Nope. This oh, no, it goes up. Oh, sorry, it goes up that way. Okay. Mike, three gold. I. All right, then. Here you go. Uh, okay, and now it is once again my turn. I'm going to go for the Thieves Guild, which is roll this die, see what happens. It might be good, it might be bad. Uh, uh, that one is do three damage. John, take three on Soft. No. You can actually kill uh, nine, so eight, seven, six. Three damage. Yeah. And eight. Oh. Sorry. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> and uh, now I'm done. Did you pay for the thieves guild? Oh, I have to pay for the thieves guild. I got paid two gold. Painful. There we go. Okay. All right. The car is done serenaded. With, have they done serenading us? Uh, it seems that way. Okay. That was very, very, very nice of them to give us a little background music. Not really. <laughs> no. Not at all. <laughs> What's the placement? What do you want to do? Where are you going to get some gold? You want to pay some gold for some mana to heal? That would be John's option. You can go for yes. the Mage Tower. It's going to be John's option over there. <laughs> pay a gold uh, and gain, gain initiative so you can go I'm first. Some gold. Okay, so roll gold. that. Let's see what you get. Three! I've never rolled more than a one in the last two games I played of this. All right, three gold it is. And uh, you're up. What do you want to uh, do? I think I'll heal and gain some mana. Yeah, that's what happens when you, uh, when you steal gold from me. Enjoy my gold so you can uh, gain one. Yep, yep, one. And two mana, and sorry. And two mana, yep. Put it on any of the ones you want. And that, once again, is the end of the round. We've placed a lot of things again. Pretty quick, huh? Flip over one of these guys here. Oh! That is a uh, one-hander that does uh, four damage. Oh, shit. And has a plus one to attack two on the floor. All right. Um, gosh. There is two gold lost. It's to okay. The, to the floor. <laughs> it's eaten forever. All right. Um, I've, I've put out all of my gold. I have a total of two that I could have bid. How many gold did you have? One. <laughs> okay. You had a total of two? Alrighty. Zach bids three. He bid three, yeah. Uh, if I would have bid my two, I would have lost it, though, so it wouldn't have been worth it to me. Yep. Although securing it for three was a good deal, because maybe he would have bid one, and I would have actually bid my two. <laughs> okay, so these go. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. You've got ye old legendary of skills. And we move on to the next round. Go ahead and take your characters back. Uh, and of course, like I said, though this normally we want to play with three different characters, so it would game, the game would have a little more uh, options uh, involved. Of course, at a four, five, and a six player, everybody only gets two, though I think, and it lowers the amount of players you have. Um, okay, so these are all done. We get new cards. They're going to be popping out here. Boop, 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 and boop. All right, and I once again still have initiative, so I'm going to have to think about this now. I actually have to try and. Oh, we didn't. I gotta change the shop. So we'll move these guys over here. Let's get rid of these. Let's go back in the bag once you do on new yes. ones. Yes. So we get six new ones. One, two, three, four, five, and six. But not this one's a legendary. So those those won't all work. Put the rest in the bag. Okay. Now I get to look at the cards. Remember, the cards are only useful for the next gameplay. So this one here is gonna be four defense, but he also heals four. That's pretty useful. I mean, that's really useful. I like that. I mean, they're all for defense. I'm oh. going to do something bizarre, I guess. Well, and this pick... set is oh. all for defense. That's fair. I'm going to take this. And then I'm going to steal three gold from you. I'm sorry. But I didn't want to get stolen <laughs> from. <laughs> I hate that. John keeps doing it to me. That's all rude. right. It's real rude. I know. I'm sorry. I'm so, so, I'm so sauce. I'm so sauce. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm not going to get any bonus gold. No bonus meme for me at the end of this game. Uh, take a damage over there on, uh, over there on Soth. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Feel our pain. What is this one? A eventual quest. Gain two gold, steal from the market. You can just take one, one item from the market. Yeah, that's a good option. 
It also boosts me up a little bit. I appreciate that. There you go. Uh, take two gold. Yep. And then I will take a longsword here. Alright. And uh, next aspects of the game, I'm going to... These are all good except for the gaining initiative. <laughs> I'm risking it, right? Steal a mana. I have two, Zach has two. All right, what do you got? Ring of attack, that's nasty. The charge is nasty. Give me that take one extra turn. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, I'm done. I would have preferred to steal um, four gold, but. Or deal three more damage. <laughs> That'd be funny to kill somebody before the game begins. Well, I mean, the game's going on, but the, the actual, like... The <laughs> combat the combat of the, of the game. Yeah, it's like this, this is what the board looks like pretty much right here, right? <laughs> All right, you're selecting a item. Pay the gold? Pay the gold. Beautiful. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? All right, pay two gold. Two more mana. And a heal, perfect. Okay, um, now we're going to do the favorite part of the game here, which is where I gain a two-handed weapon. Uh, that is a plus one to attack and a five damager. That's pretty solid. I will, you don't have a two-handed. Oh, you can switch, you can switch your legendary out. If you want to, you, you, can, you can't have a two-hander and a one-hander, but if you want to, you can get rid of your one-handed legendary. Do you have the ability to get a two-handed Grigon? Yeah. Here. Okay. As well, the two-hand and uh, one-hand. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. Dang it! I spent all oh my gold! I was like, I should pit two. I'm like, no, because John actually might want to buy it for one. I can go, but I'm like, but then Zach can mess me over too. I don't know. Well, either way. Girth has got a girth. Oh my, it's actually, this is it's, actually, it's actually her, weapon. Weapon. her weapon. Her yeah. weapon, yeah. Okay, uh, so there's that for that. Uh, it's a her. It's a her, yeah. Yeah. Girth. She's, girth of the her. Girth. <laughs> the female girth. Just I mean, on. I have Rug over here who is also female, so. Uh, uh, these are artifacts too. And one more. Yeah. Okay. And let's go in here. Close. Okay. And these go away. And here we go. Halfway through. And now we are ready for round four. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing again here, which is steal from the market and gain two gold. I need a little bit of money here. And the item I want from the market, I want to get some, some shielding going on. I think, oh, that's not going to do it. That's a cloth. They're both cloth. Oh, no, this was a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> this was a terrible idea. I'm going to go back. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I want to go over here, but I don't need initiative anymore. Um, gain three gold, gain two mana. That's good. I'm gonna go over here actually. This doesn't affect me. And I'll take this. And then a righteous quest. Gain three gold and a random item from the bag. There's a lot of legendaries in here, so I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Here we go, here we go. Ah, shield. Oh, wow. Yes, at least it's a thing. It's not very good because it's only fire resist, but. It's a thing. Yeah, and of course, remember these, all these cards are different um, elements, right? So fire resist means if I if I get I don't have a fire card, but if I did um, and you had this, you could block all my damage. So all right, so it's your turn. Go ahead. I'm gonna do exactly what you were gonna do. No! And I'm gonna take two gold. Yep. And I'm gonna I'm gonna take this little one hander over here. Yeah, solid choice. Yeah. Four. Dang. Real strong guy. Oh, that's scary. He's real scary. Real okay. Strong guy. Uh, yep. These abilities are all great. I wish I wish I could draw more cards. Have more cards. Barb strength, three turns strong. <laughs> all right, there you go. Oop. I move the thing. And I get then four I gold, thing, I and I thing. get initiative. Four gold, initiative. Yeah, you do. Okay. 
And so since you have initiative now, I, do, I still get to go now though, right? It's initiative, initiative for the next stays round. At, or it takes effect to the start of the yes. next round. So you right now currently have initiative. However, if I get it back now, it'll be mine still for next yeah. round. Um, I am going to go for that. <laughs> Come on, baby. Four, steal four gold. How much gold do you have, John? Five. Same as Zach, who's doing better than us. He is. How am I doing better? You got all the things. So what? They're good things. <laughs> that scares the heck out of me. It's very strong. Um, I'll pay one. Mine's a five plus one legendary, and you've got eight plus one. Eight? How does he have? It's got oh. two one-handers. Yeah. E. Yeah. My shield's not super good. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just not super good. There you go. All right, heal yourself. Give yourself some more mana. It's not a bad choice. Not a bad choice. Okay, and let's go ahead and see if this, this thing better suck. This thing better be good. Uh, three, 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 plus three plus two. Three plus two. Okay, I'm okay with the woke lever. A one hander? Is one hander. It? It's a one. It's a woke lever. Oh, it's a one hander. That's not bad. Wait, do you have a two hander and a shield? And you had five total. Do right? you have mm -hmm. a two hander and a shield? Nope. Oh no. Oh no. This burns. <laughs> Just realized. That that's that's a good point. Good good catch. Alright. I'm going for six. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> okay. The treasury. <laughs> the treasury I, I tell him I tell him six and then he only puts down none. Right? No. <laughs> Change your mind. Treachery abounds. <laughs> You'll never see it coming. Five? Yeah. Okay. You bet, you just bet, in case. You bet one, just in case I only bid one. Okay, I'm going to take this. And that's another one-hander. That's actually good. Six plus one. It's like six plus two. It's a two plus a, a, a plus two and a six. Yours is plus one and an eight. Ah, that's not scary. Okay. Um, yep, now we move all these guys off again. All right. Oops. Careful now. And check, check that, make sure it's still. Take your guys back. Should probably go grab it. Zach a drink. Which one do you want, Zach? A beer of the beer variety. And three, two, one. Okay, we'll be placing these guys down now here. There we go. All the different types, and we're up for round five now. Uh, I guess I will pass initiative over to you, John. You're going to go ahead Hooray. and start. Why did I start? Because you, you gained took initiative. initiative. Yeah, yeah, but why did I want to do that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait, these guys need a burn, too. Sorry. i put new ones out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> it actually worked out right according to plan. Okay. Look at that weak ass two hander. Yeah. Which one's the shop one? The steal from the shop one? Yeah. Yeah, it's there. There. yeah, I'll take that. Alright, move that over. And gain two gold. Did you do that? Yep. Cool. And my turn. I will go for. This is good. It's a good card. Uh, gain three gold and gain two mana as well. <laughs> that Too is what I useful. All right. What is your option, good sir? Much appreciated. You do that. It cost me initiative to do that. <laughs> All right. Who are you dealing damage? Do damage to somebody. Don't worry about Garov. He's chilling. He's chilling. We're gonna we're gonna hit Garov, the guy with full mana <laughs> over there. <laughs> oh, that's not very nice. All right. Um, you're up. Starting it off. 
two for this one, right? It is two gold. Yeah. Speaking of which, I didn't pay my last. I didn't pay two last time. I don't think. I don't remember if I did. I may or may not have, but you have to pay whenever you play. <laughs> it's, it's pay to play over there at the Thieves Guild. Lightning. Lightning is gain initiative. Well done. You've got initiative. Yeah. Think you can. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Sometimes it ain't, you maintain it, initiative. Congratulations. I'm going for here, actually, the mercenary. For four? Four, please? That seems like a good uh, roll. Yeah, that is solid right there. I needed it for my legendary item I'm planning on getting. I'm going to laugh if it's cloth armor. You know, I would be sad. Or if it was a shield, that would also be sad. I'm hoping it's either mail or uh, metal armor. Well, I don't need to heal. I do want the mana. There, Michael. Uh, I would. That was me. That was John this time. He rolled initiative and got initiative. <laughs> Double initiative is always better than single initiative. You gotta take initiative. I don't want to take initiative. I don't care about initiative. All right, paying to play over there, and then you also get to select a round marker when, when when the thing comes out. Well, you have to select. And I think he's the last person to play to put that down, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we'll go ahead while he's looking at that. We'll flip over the new thing here. And that is a wizard staff, Harry. You're a hairy wizard? Wow. Okay. Does anybody, can anybody even use staves? It's the arrow, right? It is a staff. No, staff. Staff. <laughs> um. No? All right then. <laughs> I picked mine up for the sake of picking it up, but it w absolutely was not going to drop on the table. These go in the bag. Okay. Nobody can use them, and I am loaded on weapons. So. <laughs> yeah, no, fair enough. Take these guys here. This is the final round of the game, right here. Yeah, uh, final no. round of this portion of the game, I should say. Then we get to bash each other's faces in. That's right. Then the fight begins. Okay, these guys are over here. Get your, get, take your dudes back. Take your dudes back. One final, we'll take these guys and move them off the board. Hopefully we'll do this all correctly in one go here. One, two, three, four, and five and six. There we go, these guys are. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and what kind of armor we got over there? Anything I can actually use? No. What is up with this cloth stuff? It just breaking my heart here. Okay. Um, Keep it coming, let's go. You are your initiative, your turn, John. Um, I will. I'm gonna hit you very, very hard. Steal from the shot. Why? Because <laughs> I can. Oh. The firewall. I hate the firewall. I hate the firewall. Steal from the shot. I meant. <laughs> you also get this. I meant retard yep. strength barb over oh, here. Oh yeah, he's scary. <laughs> he's scary too, though. He's pretty scary. He just needs only. Oh, these guys need his armor, which I cannot seem to find. I have, oh. I have some armor. I'm gonna go with. Gain three gold, gain two mana. No, I don't need two mana anymore. Gain three gold on the random item. Mm. Okay, we'll go with that. Three gold, and please, and a random item from the bag, which I hope will be a legendary armor piece. Are there legendary ha! armor pieces? That yep. is a legendary shield. That you can't use because you have a two hander. I cannot use because I have a two hander. <laughs> that is very sad. You could drop one of your one handers, couldn't you? No. No, he's a dual. He's a dual hander or a two hander. He doesn't have. A oh, shield. okay. It's, it's on the other one. Dang it! And this has full dark and light resist, and has plus one to defense. This is very sad for me. All right, that's that. Just will end it for me there. Um, dang. Um, yes, we move that one down. Okay. And I take the card too. All right. Yeah. All right, last card for me. Boop. Bum, 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 bum. Two manas and three golds. All right, roll. Wheel of morality. Spin, spin, spin. Tell me if John is going to win. Blank? Blank. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, not going to win. Okay. Um, I will go with, what do I care about? Uh, you know what, why don't I do this? I mean, that sounds like a good idea. I'll be sad if a legendary pops and I don't have enough for it, but one, two, three, four, five, six. I'd like to have one, you guys all have one. 
I mean, I thought it'd be interesting to see an effect. I'm gonna take this. What turn do you want? I want turn, what, if you took one and two, I'll take turn three then. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a turn, oh, my options. Sometimes it is better to wait different turns though, depending on what you're choosing, if you noticed. And sometimes it's better to hit people really hard instantly. Okay, that's the end of mine. And, uh, Zach? Yeah. Oh, right. You're the last person left. One more. And then we finally do the next aspect of it. Uh, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, gain some, gain some gold. Yeah, yeah. Get, uh, get some gold. All right. Gotta get another legendary. Two gold. And get all the, get just, all the gold. So, just in case you want this, right? Just in case. And it is male armor. Which one's male? It, it looks like, it's flat leather, sorry, it's left leather. Oh. Anybody have leather? I do. You do? Zach does oh, not. Oh, I have the wrong one on, I think. <laughs> do I? Is that the wrong one? That is the wrong one. I totally have the wrong one. Okay, cool. Oh, no. Is there a... So say we can give you a different one since you use the ability. Just a random male yeah. armor? Apparently. Here you go. You can have that one. Hooray. Give you some. Okay. Um, so you have much gold yet, John? Four? Four. All right. Let's, let's duel it out. Is gold what? usable in the next round? Uh, it is usable for... It's used for who gets the turns first. Initiative, Placement basically. and initiative for attacking. Like I get to go, then you get to go. If, mm -hmm. you, if you have more gold, you get privileges. Okay. Five. Four. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. This, this... You can't use it. It's No, it's male. It's not, oh, okay. it's not armor. Okay. So that is it. That's all we need to do for this aspect of the game. This is the basic... Um, worker placement, as well as gaining the cards you need for the next portion of, the, of combat. Uh, we're, so we're gonna be using these, we'll be using our card, and we'll be using our hero boards, but the rest of this is not going to be needed. However, we do one more thing before we end here. Go ahead and take the things off, I suppose. And we're going to gain gold based on our uh, on these guys here, where they are. So this right here says that these two are gonna gain 20 gold. So I get so 20. 20 for mine and 20 for uh, this one right here. Uh, over here we have the demon gal and the um, darker skinned Just male, me. I believe. So you're gonna gain 10, ten gold. That one. And then over here we have the red chick is gonna gain 10 and the fire dwarf, which are both your guys. So you gain 10 each. Wow, okay. Value. And the rest of your gold is going to be, we're gonna be distributing our, the rest of our gold. Um, no, I got nothing else. Okay, the rest of our gold can be distributed in, in, in initiative order. So starting with John then. John has initiative, so he goes last. Okay, so placing gold then. Yeah. So you place place one at a time. Mm -hmm. One, you place a gold. Nobody else has gold though, right? Zach would place, then you would place them. Right. So, but no, no, we don't, we don't have any gold. So Zach's gonna be placing. Place the rest of the gold however you would like. Oh, I haven't placed these yet. No, they get placed on the actual characters. So the yeah. re, you're, they go on there. They, your, your red chick has. Oh, okay. No, no. Red what? chick's got ten. Red chick's got ten, 10 and then twenty. Yeah. Okay. That's, you literally just that's what you get for. The movement, so I didn't know if I. That's why you're because you're placing with for the characters yeah, themselves makes specifically. Sense. You got your six cards. We got our characters here, and um, these will be set aside for later in this board. But that's pretty much all that we need, along with these for our abilities. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next aspect of the game, Theasis. All right, guys, we are now back for our second portion of Theasis, and as you can see, we each have our characters as well as all of our armaments and whatnot. We went ahead and set up the secondary board here, which is basically a tactical king of the hill style game, right? It's basically a tactical hill, king of the hill style game, right? King you, of the hill you, need to, you need to make it to the last round, turn nine, uh, with your character on this piece here in the middle of the board, or you need to be able to just defeat everybody else's characters. We are each gonna have two characters. This is still the blitz mode of the game. We went ahead and set aside these little, um, um, these little things here which are used for like sight as far as abilities go and then of course these things here which will be used for the different uh, aspects of play firewalls banners uh, we got this thing here which is like an ice wall and of course over here we're gonna have the extra gems in case we need them we've got our turn abilities here which yours is gonna happen in the first second and then mine's the third turn over here what we're gonna do now do placement placement was pretty simple we already had, went ahead and set everything up to which the uh, over there on the board is going to be the first player all the way to the last player. However, the last player is the one that's going to need to place first. And that person is who? Which one of us is the last you. player? Is me, huh? All right. So my poor gal is going to go ahead and I will place her here, right there in the middle there. And then the next person. All righty then. The 
deep rumblings. And I think you get to place the next one as well. I uh, know. Um, yes, it yes. Yeah. And then my gal over here. Should have been in that order. That's okay. Uh, let's go with. Doesn't make that much of a difference for you. Here. No, and in fact, actually, matter. this one here has twenty points. So this one actually should be the one ahead, not the uh, not the werewolf, right? So it should yeah. be. She is not last. The werewolf is last. That's the right way to do it. Okay. So we got our placement already down now, and uh, following initiative, we are going to uh, start off with players going. I think John started off with initiative. Actually, no, we're, we're going to do, we are doing the initiative. Sorry, yeah, which yes. I am first. Well, you are first, yes. One sir. thing we both forgot that's very important is if you do a melee attack, which is adjacent, you can knock them back and take their spot. Yeah, so whenever you do a melee attack, you can knock somebody back and then move into the location they are at. So on your turn, you're gonna be able to do a couple things. You could choose to move and then end by discarding a card. You're gonna have these six cards in your hand almost at all times, except for when you play them. Uh, and then you could choose to either pass by discarding or you could choose to attack by placing a card face down, provided you have range of your opponent. Range attacks are five spaces away. Your speed dictates your amount of movement and your um, and five is always gonna be ranged. And if you're next to your opponent, that's going to be your melee attack. Uh, and it's going to be our movement, or our uh, turns are going to be based on that board over there, that track. This is based off of the gold we had at the last worker placement phase. Uh, John, you're starting off, right? So you get to choose mm -hmm. your player that you want to go with. Another option you can do is if you want, you can choose to discard a card. You can move, discard a card, and then instead of, um, and then you can choose to take a damage and gain a uh, one of these guys here. And I don't get the choice of my characters. It has to, it has go to be that, one. that order. Yes, that order is the correct order. Three, four, five. Yep. And then I am not going to do anything. Discard a card. I will discard. Do you guys get to see what cards I discard? Face down. Okay. And while you're doing that, I'll go ahead and go with Girth here. Uh, Girth, the female nefarious death knight. One, two, and I guess three over there. And I will discard a thing, and I'm going to be done. You can attack on adjacent spaces, right? Yep, attack adjacent spaces. One, two. Let's fight. Okay, you want to fight? So he's going to he moved his uh, spaces. Now he chooses a card, puts it face down, and he will be fighting my girth over here. Of course, I have no defense uh, mitigators. I will play my best card that I have to defend against him. The evil... The evil Norn. Wow, that one's a scary one, isn't it? All right, then we're going to flip over. So I've got Frigid Knight, and he's got uh, Warcraft. So we go ahead and put him over here so you guys can see him pretty well. Uh, Frigid Knight has zero attack and four defense, which is good for me because I'm defending currently with this character. Uh, Warcraft, however, has four attack, and the hero hit uh, ranking is decreased by one. So four uh, and four, which is a tie. However, if we look over on the character's player board, this character has a plus one to attack, and I have no pluses to defense, which means that it'll go to five to four, which will indicate I'm gonna be taking a damage. So I'm going to be hit. Uh, this is a physical attack, and it says physical light and fire damage is negated, which means that I'm only going to take one damage, I believe, as opposed to taking all of it. Normally, if this was, if it, this didn't say that I get to defend, you would instead, you would additionally do one damage to me and follow it up by the bonuses over here. So a four and another four, which would be eight damage. You'd basically almost kill me there. Uh, but I was lucky enough to defend against that. So I'm going to take one damage on Kurth, and these cards are going to be discarded face down, and the next player is going to get to go, which is going to be you again. I got very lucky with that. <laughs> I was like, if he plays anything that isn't these three, I'm dead. <laughs> um, so with my ring and lance attacks here, those are those ones there? Yep, and you can choose to use them after you have to put the... the and they'll tell you how it works, basically. All right, ring, uh, ring, ring of attack, how would, how would it be placed? Something like this, Grant? Mm -hmm. You just place it as long as it touches your guy? Yeah, yeah it has to be adjacent to my, my character, right? And then you play and it gets a little... Or is it, or is it in, in the, the middle? Center? Yeah, he's going to find out. Uh, but the the other one is the 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 charge. No, I'm I'm here. Oh, okay. Oh, I could. No, you can't with that guy now. You're, you're on this guy's turn now. I can't use my mana to attack a second time. Oh. Um. 
I suppose you could. That would, well, normally you wouldn't put a card face down. You would have uh, chose to use its ability, then placed a card face down for the ability, right? Okay. But this is a second. This is also a um, a card ability. Uh, this is basically ability. You just played this beforehand, so just save it for next time. Okay. Uh, but you're already on this character anyway. Sure. So go ahead and uh, I guess choose. You want to do an ability, or you? Well, I want to know how the ability yeah, actually. All adjacent. Okay, you attack all adjacent. It's all adjacent. Yeah. So just go over and hit everyone. Oh, okay. okay. That makes sense. Are you gonna use that? that? that <laughs> as well. Yeah, it would hit this. If you put this on, if you use that, you would actually hit your own guy as well, right? Oh, it's around myself. Yep. yep. Yeah, you're doing this like fiery uh, ring of flames around yourself. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep. And then you're gonna do the ring. Ring. Oh my gosh, that's not very nice. Which I believe will hit both my characters. Oh. Uh, when do, do these take effect? At the start of the turn. Yeah, the start of the turn. Oh, you didn't do your for turn one? Yeah. Well, do it now. What does it say? Death Swamp. Movement uh, cost plus one and three void damage. This is the Death Swamp. So put it on one of the areas and in which the characters were at previously, we'll take that damage. Put it right there. Okay. So just from now on then. Now, normally you play that card at the very beginning of the round. Just like on turn two, we're going to play this at the very beginning. I didn't realize you had a turn one card there. Anywho, uh, that's there forever. It just stays there. If anything happens to characters on that space, it's going to take some damage. Okay, so you've done your ring. Uh, what's it say exactly? A ring attack plus one fire. So plus one fire to the card you're playing. So you get a, basically a, a bonus of plus one, and you're attacking both of my guys. Which means I have to place down a card for each of my defending units. I'm going to place this one for Garav. And I'm going to place Does this only apply to the defense? You copy the values of a card. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm putting those two down, I guess. All right, so I'm going to flip over the first one, which is going to be Garav. You go ahead and flip over two. Uh, that is one damage. Oh, you're using the value of a card you discarded. Okay, so using a four. Yeah, that's an amazing card. It's what I had last time. As is not, this crime's not going to pay off for me. Uh, so I'm going to take the one damage in a, uh, from this to this guy, in addition to how much total? With it's her, right? So four. four. So I'll be taking five damage, right? Four minus does the three is one. Ring attack have plus one. Also? It does. It does. So I'll be taking five, six damage then, correct? Six damage. Total. I'm going to go ahead and use a regeneration, which is if I'm hit, I, I heal four. So that total is needed two damage, right? Yeah, take six, gain four. Or, yep. Yeah. And then this one, of course, I have only two defense with their plus, uh, so that's four, uh, that's five, minus uh, two is three damage, plus four is seven total, right? Yeah. Plus the one from the Ring of Flames? Yeah, I did that, right? Okay. Yeah, five minus, because yeah, this plus one goes under this one. Okay, so I'm now down to one health on Girth already. That's that's not do very nice. Do have fire immunity or protection? Uh, my, this guy has fire immunity. So that's so, one damage. Okay, so he was at eight anyway, though, right? So he goes to seven, I think. I took three. Did I take three to this, to this guy? You, you took, took four plus six. Two. You took six, gained four. So you take the damage previous. Oh, so I would only actually taken one then. Like a one and oh, two. so I don't even even actually need to remove one of these. Okay. Well, but you're down one. I would just take one because I have a the, full defense of fire. The ring, the ring of flame is plus fire, which makes your entire attack fire. Makes the entire attack yeah. fire. Okay. Yeah. However, this guy is still taking all the damage because well, I don't have a I don't have a defense. Okay. Um. So like, so, so both of those get burned. Got the Fourth of July fireworks going in our favor. Okay. Hooray! And then this is gonna go away. We don't need this anymore. Uh, I'm in a very sad location now. I'm gonna make you very sad if I can. <laughs> uh, the next player is going to be me. Yep. With her. Unfortunately, so, the werewolf has been uh, been eaten alive. My question is, I have an ability that moves me. Can I do that and my attack ability? I have one that says teleport to any hex, steal one mana from any hero, and then a line attack. You teleport to any hex? Oh, you're saying in addition to the movement? Can yeah, I do the you teleport? You move first. You move first, and then okay. you can use the teleport. I mean, I... Yeah, I, doesn't make a difference I know, but that's point. that's just normally what you do. So I'll teleport to here. 
I'll steal a mana. I okay. will steal... Where is it? That regenerate. That one. <laughs> Put it back on teleport. Okay. And then do a lion attack. Hitting everyone in the line. Which is going to be like that, huh? Uh-huh. Dang! What are you doing, son? Killing all the things. All right. Uh, we need to provide a, de pro provide a defensive card. I'll play one for her. Oh, no. she's. I think she's in trouble now. So I'll play one over here for her. And there's put them on the card. put them on the on the table so that way people use it. It's easier for people to see them. Yeah. All right, one for each of these for you. All right, and then we reveal. Go ahead and reveal them. Text to your character stack. Uh, this is my mage over there, and this is my barber. Here. Okay, so mine says attack plus one, which is a, uh, is not important because I don't have celestial priestess. So I just have one defense. What's your attack four? So it's going to do three damage to me. It is dark. I have no defense. Four minus one is three. Plus what? Um, three more is six. My character's going to die. <laughs> He's just going to die. Sorry, Girth. No one loved you all that much. Unfortunately. All right. Oh, I played those two backwards. Oh, well. Uh-oh. So this character here has got a three. So you've got four. And you're, you have any bonus attacks or no? Nope, no bonuses on this one. It's okay. also fire. I have a half defense to fire. Half defense, so you're only gonna take half damage, provided she can get through. Uh, so this one here is a one uh, versus your four. Oh, sorry, this is a three versus the four, which is one. Any defensive bonuses for you? No. Half half fire. Half fire is a defense uh, resistance, but any okay. bonus is a plus one. Oh, no, no. So over here we have four minus three, which is gonna go one damage through. Plus is the attack a burning attack? Uh, yes. Okay, so that's going to be four turtle damage, which means you half that, you get two damage. Plus the curse takes effect too, doesn't it? Heroes hit, receive, minus one uh, defense. So you would take one additional damage, but it wouldn't matter no, because... Token. Oh, they get a minus defense token. Ooh, nasty. Both of them do? No. Well, no. He, he she gets to choose oh, one, okay. one, basically. And then this one over here is a four versus your four. They would cancel out. No bonuses from you, no bonuses from you. Uh, we would look at the chart here to determine who is the higher one of the bunch. Uh, he is on that one. So he is going to win the tie there, which means no damage will be taken. And there was a blessing on this, does that matter? Uh, hero, no, that does not matter. Okay. Well done, a nice a nice volley of, 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 of whatever you want to call it, lightning. Lightning volley. Uh, oh, fire whip. But fire wave. Whatever. Yeah. Fire wave. That's what that's that's what it is. Okay. Um and who died? I did. Girth died. Goodbye, Girth. Oh, we got the ambiance music yeah, going. Yeah, we got the ambiance. Okay. Love it. Alright, so then it is. It is Werewolf's turn finally, and I'm gonna have to uh, exact my revenge here. I'm gonna move one and two. We're going for the Norn, the hammer. I'm gonna place this card down, I think. Yeah. Ooh. Let me see. Let me see if this is a useful. No, I'm just off. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Nope, I hit it. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. The howl. Which is a, it's a cone attack of plus one, so it makes this plus one. What type of damage is it? Uh, it's just a. It's just physical damage. Hmm. All right, I got a plus four. And it says heroes hit, receive minus one attack. You got a one attack plus one if cast by an ancient druid. I have four. And then that's a spell. Okay, so my I have a plus two to my attack though, so that's a six. You're gonna take two damage, and then you're gonna take six more. Do you have any physical defenses? No, I do not. So do you take uh, eight oh, eight total? Yep. Okay, and then you are taking six minus one, so that's well, five. If you take eight total, you're dead. No, I was at nine. Oh. Okay. Um, so you would take, so I got four, plus, plus the, the two is six, minus your one is five, 
plus six more is 11. Ouch. Yeah. And you also took the damage, so you're going to get a minus to your attack. Ouch. Yeah. My very, very strong barb died. Very, very weak like. He did some damage. Not enough. All right. Um, now we're back to the first, the next round, which is usually you got your turn too. So go ahead and flip that over and see what, what we're, what's going to happen here. Oh, so we get our cards back. You get all your cards. Once you have no cards left, you get them all back. Oh, except, I still have more. Except for the one you played, which I played this one here. So that one's, whatever one, last one is you played, you don't get back. The last, the last one the that you last played. One you get the rest. But. Yeah. Oh, when, when you play that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wall of Fire. So four damage. Go ahead and place this however you want to do four damage to the peoples that it hits. Yeah, place like that. Thank you you probably right shouldn't place it on Michael anyway because Mike has fire resistance. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. You don't want to place on my fire resistance, dude? Oh, that's a good point. Maybe else have fire resistance? No. Maybe else going to die. Which one's going to die? Which one is this? This one will die. Is that this dude right yeah. here? Yeah. Okay. Well, suck it. All right. There we go. So what's it do? Four damage. Just four damage? Yep. If you have fire resistance, you can make it go down to one. If you have half fire resistance, we can go down to two. Nope. It Melt. Goes. It melts. Your guy melts. <laughs> Way to go turn two. All right. Uh, now it's the first player's turn, which is no longer you because you're off the board. This guy is uh, gone. No, 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 oh, no. Which that one? is still... Sorry. There's two characters that are off the board, though. One is this gal. This one down here. And then the barb. All right. Just to make things simpler. Okay. Three characters off the board. Yeah, yeah, three, le three, three down, two to go for one of us, um, and it's still gonna be a uh, your turn. You got yeah. your soft. And we'll move to here and discard a card. Okay. Ooh, man. All right, it is your turn now. You're up. Stupid armor. He is a beast. He's got plus one armor as well. Stupid. Remember your ranged too. What, what's the attack range on five. the range? Up to five spaces? Five spaces, yeah. After movement. And what is the, Is this crap still here? Yep. Yes. It stays there forever. That is now permanent terrain, just like that wall of fire is permanent as well. Ah, okay. Um, for uh, three damage if you go into it. Yeah. And it takes a lot of movement to go through it. Four. Yep. Yep, you're just far enough, but I can shoot Michael. Yep. Hurrah. One card. Five. Two. Bloodthirst. Inflict three self damage and increase your attack by three. Five and five. Oh. Five. But you if it's a is it a tie? It's because I got a plus one defense and here's a four, so it's five. And then you are dealing three damage to yourself and increasing your attack by three makes that a five. We're tied and we look at the board here. My character is last on the board, so you would win this and do four damage to me from this thing here. This is a dark attack though, right? Mm, I, I I'm believe just so. using a physical and attack. Have, well, you, well, you use whatever the card is, right? If okay. you're just t t topping the card here, you use the card, which is gonna say dark. I don't have dark resistance, so I'm gonna take four damage there. And uh, that's it. Yeah, you got it. And that was your last card, so you get the rest back in your yep, hand. Yep, except for this one. All right, and then it's my turn, right? Yep. I've got my speed of five. One, two, three, four, and five. Coming for you. Coming for you. I'm going to play this. I'm going to actually play Furiosity. And I'm also going to play this card down. So it gives me my attack ignores armor. It's a physical attack and ignores armor. We got a three plus two is five. So in this case, it would actually ignore this this bonus here, I believe, right? Or it would ignore these. It probably oh, ignores ignore these. It yes. probably ignores I think, those. I think it ignores this. So I've got three plus two more is five. You have a four, so one damage goes through, and then I do three damage more to you. Plus three more damage from my other legendary item. <laughs> Boof. All right. 
All right, so you've been wiped out of the game, unfortunately, good sir. But there's still one more person to deal with, and that is John here. So uh, it is now the next round, right? Turn three? Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and use mine, which is a wall of frost. It blocks a passage and it does ice damage for two. I'm gonna take this thing here and I'm gonna place it right like that. Can you place it on me? Oh, just yeah. the center blocks passage. Yeah, that's, that's a blocks passage and you take two damage of ice. No okay. resistances. Nope. All right, you're up. That's what I got, bro. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I will use... I'm very sad that you removed my regenerate. <laughs> I removed your regenerate. I, that's what I was, I was talking about. Yeah. You told him to and he did it. I was going to anyways. All right. he, was, he was looking for it. All right, yeah. so go ahead and play a card down. Can I use multiple powers in the same Just turn one. again? Just one. Hmm. I will then do a ring attack for plus one attack. And that is plus two. Oh, just the ring attack? Yep. Uh, so I'm just going to give you plus attack then. Yep. Does that make you a physical damage or what? Frost, it looks like? It yeah. looks like frost. Okay. I will place this down. I will place this down. All right, I got three defense plus my one is four, and I also have frost resistance. I have three plus one is four. We would look at the thing, you would beat me. I would take all that damage, but I have the frost resistance here. So you're taking, so I'm taking one. Uh, next question is, this says Here's remove, all, remove blessings. all blessings. I have no blessings. These are blessings here, like healing two per turn, okay. speed one, that kind of stuff. Okay. And then this get gone. Get go Actually, this will stay over here by the board, but this will get gone. All right. I'm right next to you, so I'm going to give you some, some punishment here. Okay. Four. One. Opponent's values are set to, opponent's val power value is set to one. So we're both tied. You're still ahead of me, so I don't do damage. Plus two. Uh, my power value is set to one, though. Is it just the card value, or is it the entire power? I think it'd be the entire power, though, I imagine. So I probably wouldn't get anything. All right. Did you get your whole hand back? Yep. And I'll do take an extra attack power. Yep. You take one first. Yep. Flip over. Three. I would take three damage. Uh, what kind of, Plus. it's darkness. I don't have a darkness ability. So I think you do four damage to my one, or to my two, sorry, because I have two two there. So I do take, I take two, and then I would take five more after that, and I think that would just kill me. I'd be dead. Um, provided though that it that, that the last card actually did make not only my pluses, but also the card to one, because otherwise I would have won. But nevertheless, that is the basic idea of how you play the game. Theasis, moving around the board, of course, in this aspect of the game and doing this this kind of tactical maneuvering game. Now, of course, there's better strategies than what we did. Me and him hitting each other enti the entire game and letting him slide slide away with the victory at the end. Kind of. I know. mean, I was in there from turn one. You jumped in with this guy, and then we took you the line attack <laughs> all of us from. A Far. But hopefully that gives you a good idea of how to play. <laughs> it's a Kickstarter game, so it might change. The rules might change in certain ways. Of course, this is all prototype material. And like I said before, these miniatures are not the miniatures of the game. However, um, these ones are. And they're very, very similar uh, looking to the ones that you'll be uh, playing with here. We didn't have enough miniatures to use for this playthrough, so instead we just decided to play with other ones and use the bases, which may or not be included. Um, but yeah, how did you guys enjoy the game? Pretty good, pretty yeah, good. Pretty good. Yeah, enjoyable, different kind of style with the worker placement than throwing in the uh, tactical aspect of the game. I just kind of wish more uh, armor cropped up for my uh, person that had no armor. You won. You're fun. Yeah, you, you won. What are you, you going to complain about? Anyway, guys, thank you guys for <laughs> watching this uh, playthrough of the game Theosis. Hopefully this is giving you a good idea of how to play the game. And if you're interested, you can go ahead and check it out on Kickstarter and pick it up by pledging. Thank you. We are Unfiltered Gamer, and we appreciate it. And we will see you guys next time.